Okay, so I'm back. As always, I'm Al. This is the Geek In Review. And I'm going to be talking about Star Trek Lord Decks Season 3, Episode 4. So if you haven't seen it, you know the drill. So let's get to it. So life aboard ship seems a little cramped and not everyone's a fan. We get a mask callback straight away to the classic TNG episode with the ship being transformed. And they kind of mention that they've encountered a few of these artifacts, but that's about as far as it goes. And this season has been pretty light on Easter eggs, but I'll get to that later on. So the captain decides that some of the crew need a break. There's a room lottery which, if you just have a bunk in a corridor, is a pretty huge deal, I suppose. And of course, all the guys are interested in Tendi comes across a plot to rig the outcome. So the Lord X gang decide to rig it themselves to beat the cheats, so shenanigans, etc, whatever. And this is where the episode gets a little bit weird. We get everything from crew-based Bonnie and Clyde robberies, and man, does that scene go on a lot. I was wondering if it was going to circle back to it, but instead, this episode goes in a pretty weird direction. We get Boimler and Mariner on a weird LSD trip which doesn't last half as long as a holodeck bank scene, and then it's just a series of these sort of scenes with them going to random parts of the ship until they run into the other ship, trying to do the same thing that they're doing and bond with them over old stories. So it turns out it wasn't four rooms on deck one, which is a bit weird because isn't deck one the bridge, it was actually one room on deck four, so the whole thing was a hilarious misunderstanding. And yeah, the whole thing kinda, to me, felt a little bit pointless. The other story is the engineering crew beam down to the Dove, which is a facility that's mastered the art of relaxation. They get wristbands to monitor their stress levels, and I thought, where, where is this gonna go? The crew can't switch off, apart from the captain. And yeah, it's another storyline that doesn't really work. We're getting a lot of Captain Freeman this season as well. But for me, she's not the most interesting character, and having the captain show up week on week when the show is about, well, Lord Dex side of things seems to sort of rob the show of its original intent, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, it all goes wrong on the planet, the crew freak out and have to come together and save the captain, and that's about it. But yeah, another sort of under par episode for Lord Dex. The ship room story just felt like a bunch of disconnected scenes, I'm not sure if they were going for an escape room vibe or whatever, and I keep saying this but while I'm enjoying the show, the flow or the pace of the first two seasons just isn't there. We're getting even less easter eggs that I mentioned at the start of the video in references, which hey, is fine, I like that the show is doing its own thing, but a big fun part of Lord X for a lot of fans was spotting these, and if they're not there, some people might lose a little bit of interest, I suppose. And while I'm going to keep watching this, I've actually got this week's episode up in front of me just now. I've watched a few reviews of this episode and a lot of people, including diehard Trek fans, are sort of feeling the same way that I am, that this season, while it's good, it's not really great. And I want to know what you think, what do you guys think of Lord Deck Season 3? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, I don't hate it, it's not bad, I'm not the angry guy with the beard and glasses online that's going to tell you not to watch it while watching it himself. It's just not as good as it was, and with other Star Trek animated shows out there, which by the way, Prodigy hasn't even finished its first season, you'd think more decks would up their game when they're kinda resting on their laurels. I mean, it's an animated show, you can do whatever your imagination can conceive, and if this is the best that they can come up with, then just hope it picks up for the rest of the season. But as always, this is just my opinion, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to watch episode 5 just now, so I'm going to post the review later on today. If you've made it this far, please leave a like in the video and subscribe, it's only a small click for you, but it means so much to the channel, and thanks for watching.